Easy. All right, everyone. Uh, this is Nicole Wood, aka Wildlife Body, which is right on the shores of Lake Michigan. Here, uh, we're going to be talking to Dr. John Jansen from the University of uh, Milwaukee or University of Wisconsin Milwaukee. I always want to get those two mixed right. up. About his uh, underwater ROVs, and so I'm going to throw it on over to him in just a second. But in case like you don't get to see this whole thing, uh, feel free to rewatch it later. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and tweet me those, and I will ask uh, John Lee. I'll also be putting it up on YouTube and I'll be making a podcast of it for uh, SoundCloud as well. So with that, I'll throw it over to you. Okay. This is a homemade submarine that we've used in exotic places like Yellowstone National Park. To so it's PVC pipes. It looks a little complicated, but it's just a couple of The camera is off of it right now and there's several cameras we can use on it. But this is a simple fisherman's camera, even with a goofy little fish that we cut the tail off of so that we can get a little television screen hidden under there. So that's all you need for a camera, a couple hundred dollars. The PVC piping is inexpensive. These are motors that come from bilge pumps. They're about 30 to $40 each. They're 12 volt motors. One of the motors to make this into that with the propeller, you just add, and your motor just operates like this. So it's that simple. A camera like that, piping. For this, four motors with switches to operate them, plus two to make it go up and down. Up and down, okay? Now, this, but we use this for research uh, and that's something they sort of go to sleep. It doesn't hurt them. They recover out of it. But the rocks, and it's not on their they will suck the fish up if they want to collect them. Sure. Yeah. yeah. You want to talk oh, to us about this? That you taser fish with it and then suck them into a little tube right here so that way biologists like Dr. Jansen here can the tiny dancer there. This is made out of acrylic that's been epoxied across with a pressure chamber that's not really a pressure chamber. It's there mostly for buoyancy. We run it just off of a GoPro and the bilge pump molars that you already saw before. It's a very simple construction of PVC to metal rods to mount it in the acrylic so you can adjust by hand where you want the thrusters to go. And then from there, it's just as much easy as steering. Get it up to the fish and then these metal springs can be attached to a shocking device. They're currently not because I don't want to be shocked in the water. But otherwise, you get the fish in between them, you have the pilot shock them, and then the fish can be sucked into the tube here. There's a one-way check valve so they can come into there. It'll be brought up to be analyzed and looked at, hooked and rotted like an alien ducting a human. Cool. So that. If you hand on to the two electrodes, we'll be trying to pretend that we're shocking you. <laughs> 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 Why don't you show, maybe, uh... You want me to take her up? Yeah, you can put it back in the you want to show the open ROV? Sure, yeah. we can do the open ROV. You want to grab the open ROV? Can you get a view of the open ROV? Yeah. So you should be getting wet. <laughs> just grab it, just pull it back. All right. We have another ROV in the water here called the open ROV. This is actually okay. a kit you can purchase. ROV that actually has a pressure chamber on board. Right. So a chamber with, with air inside of it. Mm -hmm. And we actually run a computer inside of it called the BeagleBone. BeagleBone Black. Sam's bringing it up now. Yeah, you might be able to get the image on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah right, so right now, you can actually see. Yep. Uh, it's yeah, so this off. is the yeah. control panel so you for it. yourself, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Board here generating this web page. We okay. have um, tilt sensors here. We can put a tilt and roll sensor on there to get a gauge where we're at. We can do digital camera. Front facing camera there. Yep. Okay. And we also have two lights on board here. It gets kind of dark if you go deep into the water. Right. And that's neutral or slightly positive buoyancy on these ROVs. Okay. Just in case you're over like 300 feet of water, you don't want the ROV to sink. Thruster configuration, two in the back, we run it with the tank drive, so we can go forward, back, left, mm -hmm. and right, and then one up here for up and down. So we don't currently have this one configured for electroshocking, it's more just for observation. We could convert it to... Uh, we, have, we have the other ones for that. Right. So some of the news is they don't have to take up scuba diving to go chase fish underwater. You're not going to get cold. Yeah. Oh, you can true. put it under the ice. Oh. And explore around under the ice. Mm -hmm.
find where the big fish is and then go hook it. Whoops, I didn't say that. <laughs> so, I mean, all this stuff is really cool. Uh, you guys are going to be out here for the rest of the day yeah, to yeah, showcase. So yep, so you check this out. Like I said earlier, I'll be posting this up on uh, YouTube and of it. And if you have any questions uh, about this, uh, feel free to tweet me and I will come back and ask questions of the crew from University of Wisconsin. With that, I'll uh, sign out and uh, have a few more broadcasts for you guys this afternoon. Bye. Cool.